All right, let's get into this one because there's been some requests on this one already. So uh, we'll quickly go through the specs of the watch, give you guys my thoughts and experience. And at the end, I'll tell you guys if I recommend this watch. I'm going to leave the exact reference number of this one in the description. So uh, let's quickly go through the specs of the watch. We got, this is the Certina DS Action Diver in the 38 millimeters. So this is a 38 millimeter case size. We have a thickness here of only 12 millimeters. We have a lug to lug here of 43 millimeters. But since it does have male end links, you're looking at a 51 to the end here. We have a sapphire crystal up top with a R coating. 120 click unidirectional bezel with an aluminum bezel insert. Screw down signed crown. Screw down case back here. Embossed with the Certina turtle. We have solid links, solid end links, milled clasp, double um, pusher here, and then the security pusher there. Very nice feeling, very tactical, very nice thunk. Uh, this does have, since this is a ISO certified diver, it does have a diver's extension there, which I will probably never use. And overall, the clasp is basic, but I think this is the one I like the most. Um, the only thing is it only has two micro adjustments. So if it had maybe four uh, or six, that would even be probably the perfect um, clasp there. But I mean, I, there's always has to be something, right? Uh, BGW-9 all over the hands and um, hands and indices there. We have kind of like a lacquered dial. Uh, it, I don't think it is lacquered, but it's a deep, dark black. Uh, very nice, very elegant looking. We have applied indices there with the silver surrounding and then BGW-9 um, filled markers there. Have the little text in the middle and the date at the three o'clock position. This does have the ETA 2824 in there. So uh, it is a Swiss made automatic diver. And like I said, this is an ISO certified dive watch. The crown has great action to it. It's easy to grip even though it's polished, which is one of my only gripes of this watch. Uh, but it's still, since the diver itself is 38 millimeters, uh, this, this size crown, even though it's a normal size crown, it's actually uh, pretty big uh, for the size. So it's actually very easy to grip. Nice pop to it. Hacking and hand winding. So there you go. Second hand stops. Let me show you guys the action on the winding. Very smooth. There's an uh, ETA 2824. Easy to push back in and just screws right back in. No grinding. No sandy feeling or anything like that uh quickly let's go through the price of these watches these are currently right around the 700 and 800 dollar mark uh, what i've noticed is that most U u.s uh, retailers are actually sold out of these you know, but you can still probably find these overseas i got mine from a uk authorized dealer um, they're right around the same price usually around seven or eight hundred dollars uh, converted from whatever currency they're using uh, this one in particular, I was able to find right under $500, uh, which was a great um, price. So I snatched it up right away. And uh, one of the things of this watch is this is a very elegant diver. It's a, a big departure from what I usually wear. Usually my divers are big and uh, chunky, which are fantastic tool watches. This is still an ISO certified tool watch but it's a very elegant package. Classic size, 38 millimeters, very thin, 12 millimeters tall. So this will fit underneath the cuff of any shirt. And I'll show you guys what it looks like on my seven inch wrist, just for reference. So even with that extended 51 lug to lug, as you can see there, it wears very well. Um, I like the broad shoulders there of the case because it gives it a little bit uh, bigger presence, even though it's still a 38. So just a great wearing watch, no hot spots, uh, wears low, like I said, a very comfortable bracelet. I mean, it's just overall great packaging here. This one I tend to wear a little bit loose just because it's a smaller dive watch. So uh, yeah, I don't need this one. It's not heavy. I don't need this one to be strapped in and, and not move at all. This one can have a little play in it and everything's great. Uh, you tend to forget that this is on wrist. It's a, That's how well balanced and comfortable it is. Like I said, this is this could be your one and done uh, just because it's so well balanced. And let me give you guys a quick bezel action sounding there. So it's very clicky, 
very pleasant uh, feeling here. Uh, just, just a nice bezel action. And it's very easy to grip even if your hands are wet, um, just because of that coin edge bezel there. And like I said too, this is a true tool watch. There's almost no polishing whatsoever. Everything the side of the case, every single spot of the bracelet is brushed. And just to show you guys how uniform and fine the brushing is, uh, let me just clean this off a little bit more because if you're seeing harsh lines, it's usually just because of the oils on my skin here because this thing is impeccable. Very, very uniform. The colors are exactly the same. It's integrated well. I mean, you get a really good packaging. I, I, I think this watch is worth the 800 bucks. Uh, but like I said too, if you guys just look out and you guys find it at a better deal, why not? This is just a solid diver. Uh, great addition to my collection. And yeah, this is a ISO certified diver screw down case back there. It does have something I will never use. The diver's extension there just because like I said, it is a diver's watch. Um, yeah, so the only, what are the gripes about this watch? Um, the only gripe that I have really is uh, two. It's the polishing on the crown. If they would have left it uh, brushed, it would have been even a better grip. Uh, it's easy to grip, but uh, you can tell it's a little bit slippery um, just compared to the bezel action. It's great, but aesthetically it works because this and the bezel is the only things that are polished on this watch. So it gives it a little pop without it being overbearing. So I get it aesthetically, but to me, functional is better, whatever, indifferent, right? Um, the micro adjustments should have been four, maybe even six, but it is what it is. No watch is perfect. They do give you half lengths there, so you should be able to get a good size on this watch. And um, lastly, I wish this kind of for all watches, I think that aren't Seiko's, I wish the um, Loon would last a little bit longer. It's great, has BGW9, um, but it doesn't last all night. Um, it will last for the most of the night, uh, probably like 95% of the night, but usually towards the morning hours, um, it will fade away. And that's usually when I start uh, waking up and I look to my watch and I can't see it. So it's kind of a pain in the butt, but um, yeah. I mean, the only ones that I haven't had this issue with are usually Seiko with their Luma Bright. So just charged it up real quick so you guys can tell. Turn off the lights here. Look at that. So it's great in the beginning. It's strong for most of the night, very blue. Um, it's kind of more turquoise. It looks very blue on camera, but it's a little bit more turquoise in real life, but just a great loom. I like the broad arrow hand for the hours. So it's very easy to tell uh, which is which. But like I said, it could be a little bit stronger. Great watch. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, let me know if you own one, what's your experience. I think this is a great addition to my collection. It's probably not going anywhere anytime soon. Just a very classy tool diver. Catch you guys on the next one.